Hello everyone, I'm Hong Jianchao from Ant Group, and today I'm going to present our work on discovering Wi-Fi flaws on modern devices through old air fuzzing. Okay, IEEE 802.11 is an ever-evolving set of standards for Wi-Fi networks, and the latest Wi-Fi 7 is already applied recently. Wi-Fi has continuous improvements for better performance and security. For example, Wi-Fi 6 and the Wi-Fi protected Access 3 has improved security by using simultaneous authentication of echoes and made it mandatory for networks to support protected management uh, frames. As we know, Wi-Fi has been applied in all aspects of life, such as laptops, tablets, smartphones, Wi-Fi routers, IoT devices, industry, and cars. Based on relevant statistics and forecast, the global Wi-Fi market size has reached $28 billion in 2022, and the global Wi-Fi 6 and the Wi-Fi uh, 6 enhanced and the Wi-Fi 7 chipset market size was valued at $22.55 billion in 2022 and uh, is expected to expand at a compound annual growth rate of 14.9% from 2023 to 2030. The Wi-Fi protocols are constantly evolving and uh, widely used. However, there is no open source Wi-Fi forcing tool that is suitable for modern Wi-Fi devices and supports the latest protocols because existing Wi-Fi fathers are either wonder or ecosystem specific or they only cover a subset of Wi-Fi protocols and frame types. So in this paper, we present such a fuzzing tool named Alphas. Unlike previous works, uh, using mostly firmware emulation fuzzing or driver fuzzing. It uh, takes the old air approach. It can perform fuzzing tests on any Wi-Fi devices from any wonder and can fuzz all types of Wi-Fi frames. And it can be easily extended to support interactive testing of wireless protocol models. Wi-Fi protocols are a set of 802.11 standards that are getting more and more com complex with many new features added as they evolve, such as the mesh networks. Operating system and chip vendors implement the Wi-Fi protocol stack according to these standards. The Wi-Fi protocol stack consists of three parts applications in user space, Wi-Fi kernel models, and the wonder Wi-Fi drivers in kernel space, and the firmware in, in the uh, hardware. So there are different approaches to fast the Wi-Fi protocol stack according to different target layer. And each approach has different limitations. For example, the OS kernel Model forcing is the only applicable to specific OS and to supporting different OS requires additional work. And the vulnerability discovered by this method may not be directly exploited remotely because the constructed test frames may not support the security checks of the wondrous firmware and drivers. Similarly, firmware emulation 
reporting is only available for a specific wonder firmware. Contrary to the previous two approaches, the OSR forcing can um, perform forcing tests uh, on any Wi-Fi devices from any wonder with any operating system. In addition, vulnerabilities discovered in this way can be directly exploited remotely and have real impact. So we design our force using old air approach. It supports forcing test on any Wi-Fi devices, including APs and the clients. It supports three operating modes for different testing purpose. It supports three types and 43 subtypes frames and all defined information elements and extended in elements. It also supports multiple channel operations for different protocol models. Our force has five main modules for different functions. The forcing controller mode is responsible for the overall logic control and the scheduling of other models. The frame monitor and injector modules use and extend the OSDP library to send and receive raw Wi-Fi frames on different channels. Frame generation and mutation model is responsible for generating and, mu and mu mutating test frames. The anomaly detection model is responsible for detecting anomalies after sending test frames. And uh, the log model separately records all send test frames and the test frames that cast uh, anomalies. The models and overall workflow of FOSS are shown in the figure above. We have made two schemes to run our FOSS. One is to run a force on the arm links of the open Wi-Fi as shown on the bottom left figure. And the other is to run a force on a Linux PC such as the Ubuntu with a Wi-Fi card as shown on the bottom right figure. The difference between the two schemes is the front end of the Wi-Fi signal transmission. The first one uses open Wi-Fi as a Wi-Fi signal transceiver, which can extend the Wi-Fi fuzzy to the physical layer. The second one uses one or more wireless cards that support packet mon monitoring and injection as the Wi-Fi signal transceiver on one or more channels. We evaluate uh, our force from two aspects. First is, uh, can it discover vulnerabilities on different Wi-Fi devices? Second is, can it discover both Wi-Fi design and uh, Im implementation vulnerabilities? So we test our father on many real-world Wi-Fi devices and chips, such as PCs, smartphones, IoT development for the ESP32, and the wireless Wi-Fi chips from Broadcom, Qualcomm, Intel, and the MediaTek. We recorded test data for each of these devices, as shown in the table below. Our first sense package at a rate of 15 to 20 per second, which may vary depending on the test environment or scenario. The recovery time of the target device after the anomaly is triggered also affects the overall package sending rate. 
of fast detects anomalies in three ways. The first is monitor whether the target device is uh, continuous sending Wi-Fi packets. If no packet is received, received from the target device within the set time, it is uh, judged as an abnormal. The second is monitor whether the target device send a uh, deauthentication or disassociation frame. When the target device receives an abnormal packet and cannot process it, it may rudely disconnect the Wi-Fi connection. The third is to monitor whether the uplayer TCP connection is interrupted through the PIN protocol of ICMP. Because when the MAC layer communication is abnormal, it will affect the normal communication of upper layer protocols. Through this, through this three method, OFOS can locate most of the potential abnormal test frames and save them to a TXT PUC file named PUC log for further reproduction and to eliminate uh, false positives through test, mo test uh, PUC mode. Our first found uh, 23 flaws leading to Wi-Fi DOS attack and uh, firmware crash with eight CVE IDs assigned, including design and in implementation fraud, such as bacon-based attacks channel switch and extended channel switch attack, AMPDU and the block ACK mechanism flaw, out of bounce rate and the buffer overflow. This validates its ability to find vulnerabilities on different types of Wi-Fi devices. According to the test results, those attacks are still very common in Wi-Fi. It has always been a problem that plagues Wi-Fi security. This is due to the lack of per perfect uh, security mechanism in frame protection, as well as uh, implementation frauds. Current security measures focus on data and the management frame bodies, while control frames are not protected. This DOS attack may be triggered by all types of frames. So I think control frame protection should also be taken into consideration. And any field that triggers an action, changes information, and receives data related should be checked more strictly. Our thoughts focus on forcing the frames processing of the entire Wi-Fi protocol stack, but it cannot force the interface between different layers, such as the interface between the driver and the firmware. In addition, when forcing the Wi-Fi stack, test frames are checked by Wi-Fi firmware and vendor drivers before reaching the kernel models. If test frames are dropped by firmware or vendor drivers, test frames will not reach the kernel model. The over-air approach makes uh, Wi-Fi forcing easier to adapt to different ecosystems and hardware, but uh, the feedback is poor. We do not and uh, cannot collect the coverage information from target devices, but we have maximized the combination of mutations and our mutation generate covers all frame types as well as IE types, which we consider as a reasonable approximated notion 
of the coverage in light of the common restrictions of black box fathers, and it may misanalyze that the firmware handles certain failures without being noticed. But according to our experience, if the anomaly has almost no external impact, it is basically an unexploitable vulnerability for the adversary. Therefore, if you only focus on vulnerabilities with actual impact, you can ignore such false negatives. If you want to pursue the per perfection, the current feedback channel of, of us still needs to be improved, such as installing a monitoring program on the target to monitor the anomalies of the target Wi-Fi system and communicate with our force in real time. This requires some additional work for different uh, systems. Okay, in this paper, we present our force an always air Wi-Fi fuzzing tool, which can force any Wi-Fi devices and supports all frame types of fuzzing test and uh, interactive test. Using our fuzz, we discovered 23 blocks where eight CV IDs have been assigned. And we believe that the Wi-Fi frames protection still needs to be improved. And the control frames should also be taken into consideration. Finally, we have open sourced our fuzz to the community for future research. Okay, if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.